I need blood. So I've heard. Human blood. Everything's out of control. We were fools to believe Valentine was dead. Previously on Shadowhunters. My sister wants you to be her defense attorney. For the right price. Name it. You. Clary, if you don't help us, no one survives. Do you understand? Mom, please, we... You're out of order. This whole thing is out of order. I am your father, Clary. And Jesus. Your brother and sister. That means they can't. You'll be lonely all your life. Neither of you deserve it. And I don't either. Bring the flowers out to the wedding tent, put the lilies up on the dais, and lay the rose petals at the entrance. Isabel, which color do you like better? It's for the curtains adorning the wedding tent. The cobalt blue. It's elegant, masculine, very Alec. I'll put the cobalt blue out right away. I was supposed to get any work done with all this going on. We haven't had a wedding here in years. People are allowed to be excited. We need to focus. Have you narrowed down the list of warlocks more powerful than Magnus Bane? I've got it down to 20. But it's going to be hard to figure out which one cast that spell on Jocelyn. I don't care how tough it is. We've got to find him. Back at Runwich, I let Valentine go. I won't make that mistake again. We've got to wake up Jocelyn in case she heard anything about his plan. Have you spoken to Alec? He's probably busy. What with wedding plans and all, I don't need to talk to anyone. Let's just stick to the mission, OK? peaceful now. I just wish I knew how to reach her. It's gonna be fine. I'm sorry, Clary. We should have told you everything before this guy. Look, we can hash all that out when we wake Mom up. The important thing now is that we have her back. I'm looking for Lydia. Have you seen her? I don't mean to interrupt her. No, anything. stay for a minute. I gotta get back to the station. Call me if anything changes. So how is she? Same, I guess. Alec, I know you and I don't always see eye to eye on things. Actually, we never see eye to eye on anything. But I do want to thank you for everything you've done to get my mom back. Actually, I, I should thank you. I don't know what would have happened to Isabel after the trial if you hadn't returned the cup. You saved my sister, so thank you world turned upside down, but, uh, you and I thanking each other, that's, that's too much. <laughs> yeah. Magnus needs to speak with me. I might have some information about how to wake your mother up or stop Valentine. Mm -hmm. It's important. Yeah. Hello, Magnus. Said he needed to talk to me. Nice to see you, Alec. I wasn't sure if you'd come. You know how I hate to drink alone. I didn't come here to drink. Do you have any information? On the warlock who cast a spell on Jocelyn? I'm looking into it. But we never really finish our conversation after Izzy's trial. About your wedding? There's no conversation to be had. I'm getting married. You and I, we understand marriage very differently. I'm a shadow hunter. This is about family and tradition, honor. Honor? Where's the honor in living a lie? What are you talking about? What about love? Even shadow hunters fall in love, Alec. Just tell me you're in love with Lydia, and I'll stop. I don't know. Why do you keep pushing? It's just... It's, it's confusing me. Confusion is part of it. That's how you find out if something's there. Emotions are never black and white. They're more like symptoms. You lose your breath every time they enter a room. Your heart beats faster when they walk by. And your skin tingles when they stand close enough to feel their breath. I know you feel what I feel, Alec. 
don't have any clue what I feel. So back off. This is all just a game to you, isn't it? You flirt, you laugh, you use magic. But at the end of the day, what do you risk? Even if I did feel something for you, I'm gonna give up my life for you. I have to do what's right for me. I could lose my family, my career, everything. You just don't get it. You have a choice to make. I will not ask again. Hey, Claire, hey, what's going on? I just, uh, needed to hear your voice. Are you okay? You sound upset. Yeah, I'm fine. Just, things are kind of weird with Jace right now, but we'll work it out. So, well, how's your mom? I mean, I can't believe you actually rescued her. We still have to wake her up, but at least she's away from Valentine. When can I see her? How about tomorrow night? She's here at the infirmary. Plus, it's Alex's wedding, so I'd love if you'd come as my date. Really? I, see, I just assumed you'd want to go with Jace. That's, uh, not really in the cards right now. Besides, you are the person I'm closest to in the world. Please come. I'd love to. Um, <clears throat> but I might be a little bit late, you know, with the sun and all. You are the best. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Morning. Morning. You just come from training? Yeah, I'm, uh, working on my right hook. Good. That's a good punch. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm working on it. Well, this conversation is no doubt scintillating. Remind me why we couldn't do this at my place. At least there we'd have cocktails. It's nine in the morning. Oh, it's happy hour somewhere, my dear. We invited you here, Magnus, because Hodge can't leave the Institute. He's an important part of this mission. Well, then, where is our tardy little tutor? There are certain individuals that I like to avoid, so let's make this quick. Pardon the delay, Magnus. I was following up on a lead. Now, we've narrowed down our list of warlocks. To these three. Why is Ragnarfell up there? He's not more powerful than I am. Well, some would disagree. He is older than you. Certainly not wiser. Who is Ragnarfell? The former High Warlock of London. And one of my oldest friends. Very prickly. Likes to keep to himself. Okay, look, we just need to figure out which one of these warlocks had enough access to Jocelyn that they could create the potion for her without anyone discovering what they'd done. By the early 90s, Ragnar was a professor at the Shadowhunter Academy in Idris. Isn't that when my mother lived there? Could he have made the potion for her? The little bugger. That's why he hasn't responded to my fire message. Ever since Valentine began hunting warlocks, Ragnar's been holed up in his secret country house just outside of London. For all I know, Ragnar suspected my fire message was a ploy by Valentine to lure him out of hiding. We'll have to confront him face to face. You're going on this mission? Of course. I'm the only one Ragnar trusts. Besides, I played my last hand here. Even I know when to fold. Magnus! I didn't know you were here. That was the point. We're just on our way to greet a few representatives of the Clave who arrived early for tomorrow's wedding. How long are you staying? What's going on here? Nobody told me about a meeting. Magnus figured out that Ragnar Fell is the warlock who can make my mom. We're just bringing him back to the Institute. How can I help? We're just recovering a warlock, Alec. We got this covered. Besides, you have emissaries from the Clave to me. You don't want to tarnish your family's perfectly crafted image now, do you? Again, lovely seeing you, Magnus. Get ready. We're leaving in an hour. Jace. Jace, slow down. We need to talk about this. Talk about what? We're good, okay? No, we're not. At least, I'm not. We need to talk about what Valentine said about us. Look, I don't want to talk about it. It happened. I feel weird right now. I get it. I feel the same way, okay? But we didn't know, right? It's not our fault. I can't do this right now. I'm sorry. Now that the Cleave has control of the Mortal Cup, thanks to your lovely bright to be mom and dad can come home now. They arrive tonight. I heard. And Max is staying with his tutors in Idris. It's safer there. And with all the dignitaries arriving for the wedding, mom must be beside herself. This wedding is becoming more of a headache than I had planned. I like you don't have to go through with this if you don't want to. It's what I want. Okay. Okay? No big argument from you? 
You stood by me through my trial, and now I'm standing by you, big brother. And I'm throwing you a bachelor party. A what? A bachelor party. I don't need a bachelor party. No one needs a bachelor party, but I'm throwing you one anyways. Actually, Jay should be the one throwing it, but considering everything he must be going through with Clary, I don't want to ask him to do anything. You know what I mean? I do. Sisters can really drive you nuts sometimes. Ragnar's house is just across these fields. Let's make this quick. We'll talk to Ragnar and portal him back to the Institute before anyone knows we're gone. So, brother and sister, huh? I don't want to talk about it. What, so we're just going to be work buddies now? All about the mission. Totally ignore the huge bomb that was just dropped on us. Yeah, sounds like a plan. What do you want me to say, Clary, that I was attracted to my sister? Point of fact, brother and sisters are often attracted to each other. I once knew this one couple in ancient Egypt. Madness is not helping. Maybe this will all make sense when we wake up Jocelyn, since she is Jace's mother as well. Don't say that again. Maris is my mother. At best, Jocelyn is the woman who abandoned me. Hey, that is not true. My mother would never abandon her son. She thought you were dead. Maybe she just didn't want me. You don't know her, That's Jace. right, Clary, I don't. Do you? I'm sorry I asked. I came with you to escape my relationship drama, not get a front row seat to yours. What was that? Nice try, Jace. You're not getting out of this conversation that easily. Look up! <laughs> Ragnar put up wards to protect his lair. Why is the fire green? It's a wall of fire that only the pure of heart and intention can pass through. Are you ready? Ragnar fell. Ragnar? Ragnar! Hello? Is anybody home? I need your help. Ragnar, I know you're here. I just need to find my friends. <gasps> nice try, Ragnar. Well done. Clary Fairchild. I've been expecting him. You have Jocelyn's talent, I see. Only a true artist would notice the subtle changes in my eyes. Yes, I know I need to work on not moving my eyes. You don't need to remind me. You knew my mom? So you made the potion that put her to sleep? At her request, yes. And I knew it was only a matter of time before you came to me looking for the antidote. Please, sit. My friends, Jace Wayland and Magnus Bane, they were with me, but I lost them in the fire. Let me do this my way. Your friends, are they true? Magnus said he's known you for centuries. He sent you a fire message. This is not an act. It is not an act. It is essential. Okay, what is your deal? My friends are missing, and if you can't help me, I will find someone who can. What is it worth to you? If you find my friends and wake my mother, I'll give you anything. That's what I wanted to hear. <sighs> Honestly, Ragnar. Was that nonsense necessary? Of course. She offered me anything. You were only up to a timeshare of your flat in Paris. Yawn. All right, enough with the warlock games. Can you really wake my mother? Not without the Book of the White. What is the Book of the White? It's an ancient book of warlock magic containing spells more powerful than <laughs> most warlocks could ever imagine. I possessed the book when your mother came to me, and I used its contents to create the potion. Regrettably, I no longer have the book. I asked Jocelyn to hide it, that Valentine might never find it. Ragnar, please, I have to get my mom back. Is there any way to get the Book of the White? Possibly. I may have something that can help us. Won't be but a moment. What do we do if we can't find the book? We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. It's a bit drab, isn't it? Oh! Ragnar! Shaxx, demon. 
creature took me by surprise. How could a shack seaman get past Ragnar's wards? He must have followed us. Jump through when the firewall reset. Be still, my little dear cabbage. Your wounds are deep. Hold on, please. For centuries, this man knew me better than anyone. Agnes, I'm so sorry. We have to leave now. We can't. Not until we find whatever it is Ragnar said could help us locate the Book of the White. It's too dangerous. If one Shaq's demon found us, you can bet there are more on the way. Oh, we have to try. We don't have time to scour through mountains of Ragnar's stuff. Get back to the Institute. I'll transport everything back to my place and find what you need. Now leave me to take care of my friend. bachelor party, right? No. He doesn't want me there, and I'm swamped. You two seriously haven't worked things out yet? It's nothing to work out. If he wants to talk, we'll talk. He's your parabatai. We have more important things going on than a bachelor party. Come with me. We have a mole in the Institute. We were attacked by a shack demon when we went to see Ragnar fell. The attack couldn't have been coincidence. Valentine must have been tracking us. You don't think someone from the Institute told Valentine where you were going? There's no other explanation. No one here would betray us like that. This is our family. Magnus figured out that Ragnar fells the warlock with the wake my mom. We're bringing him back to the Institute. Not everyone's family yet. I swear, if Lydia's the leak, I'm gonna... Slow down. We don't know if she did anything yet. And wrongfully accusing someone of a crime is dangerous. Trust me, I've been through it. Lydia was right there when we were talking about Ragnarfell. If she's not gonna admit what she did, I'm gonna make her admit it. Jason, stop. You are too worked up to talk to anyone right now. Especially not an important envoy from the Clave. Let me talk to Lydia. If you accuse Alex's fiancé of treason, you will ruin whatever relationship you have left with him. Clary's right, Jace. If Lydia did this, she might not be so defensive with Clary. She might let her guard down. Slip up. Fine. But I want to know everything she says. It's perfect. I love it. I'm so glad. Let me know if you need anything else. Your dress is stunning. Thank you. I feel more nervous wearing that dress than I ever have on the battlefield. I think that's pretty normal. Lydia, I need to talk to you about something. What is it? Valentine sent a Shax demon to track us on our mission today. It killed Ragnar Fell. By the angel. Only a few people here at the Institute even knew we were going on the mission. You overheard us this morning, then we were attacked. If I was working for Valentine, don't you think I would have already given him the mortal cup? I don't believe us. Fellow shadow hunters accusing me of high treason. Lydia, I'm not accusing you of anything. Of course you are. Unless you have hard evidence to back your claims, I believe this conversation's over. Fine, but know this. These people have become like family to me. And I protect my family. I care about them too. Why else would I be marrying Alec? How well do you actually know him? You're talking about Alec's feelings for Magnus? I'm not blind. If, if you're not in love with Alec, then why are you going through with this marriage? Alec's love for his family and his desire to restore the Lightwood name has touched me in ways that I haven't felt in a very long time. Alec is a man of honor, and I truly care about him. What about Alec's happiness? Shadow hunters know that our duty to our family supersedes our personal desires. Look, I know that you're still new to this world, and our traditions may seem foreign to you. Yeah, more like ice cold. Alex should not have to give up who he is, or at least the chance to figure it out, just to please his family. Alec proposed to me. This is what he wants. How do I trust you? You're Valentine's daughter. And I learned to trust you. Nice. 
trim fit, it'll make you look like you work out. Isabel, is, is Clary okay? She's fine. I just need your advice on something. First time for everything, huh? You can go now, Stan. What's up? It's about Alex's bachelor party. When you were a mundane, you went to one, right? Well, I'm only 18 and I'm a vampire now. But I know a thing or two. Simon, what makes a bachelor party a bachelor party? Well, there's a certain bridge and tunnel crowd that would say the answer to that is strippers. But, you know, there's no one right way to throw a bachelor party. It depends on who's there. Like, they're really about best friends. Coming together and assuring each other that they're always going to be best friends. Even if one of them gets married. So it's about solidifying the bonds with the people that are closest to you. That and a ton of drinking. <laughs> you have both of those, then your bachelor party will be a success. that photograph. I must remember, chin down, eyes up, otherwise I look like a squinty toad. You're here. You didn't think you'd be rid of me that easily, did you? Oh, my dear friend, I will always be here for you. Now, please, put away that horrid photograph. It commemorates a night I'd rather forget. Oh, how I had to comfort you. How I loved her. I prayed she would love me the same, but she just laughed. To Camille, immortals aren't supposed to feel true love. She was so cynical. Camille broke my heart. You let her break your heart, my friend. You're immortal. But she killed you. more steps. We're almost there. Alright, busy. You trust me, don't you? <laughs> no, not really. You know, I told you I don't need a bachelor party. You need this one. Now count to five and take your blindfold off. Really, Izzy? Seriously? She said you wanted to talk. I don't know what she thought I wanted to say. Great. I guess I'll go. I got work to do anyway. <sighs> Damn it, Izzy. You know what? She's right. We do need to talk. Okay. Well, it's my bachelor party, so you go first. I don't know how things got so messed up between us. But I do know my life has been a lot harder not having you to talk to. Mine too. I know it seems like I've been making a lot of crazy choices lately. And I know you think that I was only thinking about myself and Clary. And I wasn't thinking about the consequences to anyone else. All I can say is I've been going through a lot. But I only ever did what I thought was right, Alec. But I never wanted to hurt you. I'm sorry. I know. No, I just got caught in all this drama. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're getting married tomorrow. And Claire is your sister. Now, what's up with that? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, don't even get me started on that. <sighs> I kissed her. Mm. It's worse, I wanted her falling in love. I must be sick or something. I don't know. No. No. You're not sick. The situation is just... It's confusing. And trust me, I know. You know, it's like... You have this plan for your life. And you know what you need to do and what your responsibilities are. And you think, you know, if you follow the rules, everything's going to be fine. Then somebody comes along and pushes you off that path. You just 
Hey, I get it. The point is we're shadow hunters. Hey, emotions get in the way. And if you get knocked off the path, you have to focus, find your way back. I mean, you still have to be true to yourself. I am. I'm fulfilling my duty. Look, would you be my student and give me away tomorrow? Alec, if this is what you really want, I'd be honored. I'm always gonna be here for you. Me too. Describe that as an instrument of music. An instrument of torture, perhaps. Oh, you never liked the charango? No, I did not. And I pray you don't play it. Death has already given me enough of a headache. You remember Imasu? He played this so beautifully. I'm surprised that lasted as long as it did. He was always so much better looking than you. I don't understand why you didn't go after the boy. I'm certain with very little effort you could have won him back. No. Imasu wanted more than I can give. Maybe Camille was right. I am immortal. I can party and have fun to my heart's content without the anchors of love around my feet. You are not Camille. And though I know you won't believe me, someday someone will come along who will tear down those walls you've built around your heart. And when that love comes back to you, you must do everything in your power to fight for it. somewhere even in death you give the best advice be nice if you took it more than once every 300 years When you first proposed to Lydia, I'll admit, I was weird. But now... You've made me so proud. All right. You ready for this? As ready as I'll ever be. Yeah. I'm glad you're here with me. Wouldn't be anywhere else. Anything? And I've read it since then. Oh, you're an anti Simon, you look oh. incredible. Wait, so borrowing one of Raphael's suits, embracing the new me. So, how's your mom? She's good. Uh, Luke's with her right now, watching over her. Attention. The ceremony is about to commence. It is time for Alec Lightwood and Lydia Brownwell 
to mark each other with the wedded union rune. A rune on the hand, a rune on the heart. A union is born. See, so amaze me, Alec. Yeah. What did I just do? Alec, I am so proud of you. Guys, that was incredible. It was like watching a live version of The Graduate. You know, the Dustin Hoffman movie, The Amazing One? You were Ben. Elaine! And you were Elaine. I mean, a taller, masculine, handsome version of her. But the altar, though, you were like, Ben. And then, and then now you're both sitting on the bus at the end of the movie, both totally stoked, but wondering, like, what are we going to do now? You know? Who invited the vampire? Seriously? Hey. What you just did for Alec? It was the right thing to do. So what are you going to do now? Head back to Idris. Dive into work. There's no place for me here. There's always going to be a place for you here. Give Alec and Magnus my best. visit tonight wasn't all for him. We need to speak privately. I pulled every item of magical importance from Ragnar's belongings, but I can't determine which will lead to the Book of the White. Wait, this bookmark. I've seen it before. In the alternate dimension, you showed me a book of spells, and this was in it. 
Must have been the book of the white. If that's the case, we can use the bookmark to track the owner of the book. Okay. Warlock tracking is stronger. Well, there's good news and bad news. The good news is I know the owner. The bad, it's Camille. Camille? Looks like Raphael has her locked up in the basement of the Hotel de Moore. Well, after I punched her, there's no way she'll help me. She won't have a choice. Trust me. Why'd you ask me up here, Clary? I needed you to see this. What is all that? Luke told me that my mother had a son. We got away from that crowd and all those people. So intense. I have to hand it to you, Alexander. You certainly know how to make a statement. What have you done, Alec, to us, this family? This isn't about you. Of course it is. You are either being selfish or naive. This wedding was your plan from the start, and now you have humiliated us in front of the most respected members of the Clave. I don't even recognize you anymore. I'm the same person I've always been. Now everything's just out in the open. And all for a downworlder. Just give her time. And you? I don't really understand this, but I suppose our world is changing. How long has this been going on? Are you two in love? <laughs> love? What? No. No, that's, it's, uh, it's sort of a different... It's, it's not... all very new. Right. <sighs> I better go check on Mom. You know what I just realized? We still haven't gone on our first date yet. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Wanna... Wanna get a drink sometime? I would love that. Great. Looks like we missed the wedding of the year. It's all right. You and I 
will be able to share our love openly one day. How is she? She's asleep, but she's home. You okay, Hunt? Yeah, you should get some rest. You've been so vigilant. Why don't you let me watch over her? Thank you, my friend. Of course. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah? Tuesday at 9 on Freeform. Catch up anytime with the app or on demand.